So today we are going to set up a tank for frogs. This is a little unusual. We haven't had frogs in quite some time. So I thought it'd be fun to try to do a video of just kind of chatting while I set up this tank. Oh, and I do apologize because I am still out of breath with the heart palpitations and all that fun stuff. So if I get winded, forgive me. Okay. I don't think I ever grew out of being that kid that loved to play in dirt. Now these are red-eyed tree frogs and I've spent quite a long time online researching how to set up a tree frog tank. And there's only like, I don't know, a hundred different opinions. So I went pretty much with what Josh's frogs suggested. And I'll put a link to his, um, his care sheet. I did not get them from Josh's frogs. Um, so I'll talk about that later. We keep our home really, really warm, but the tree frogs do like it a little bit warmer. So I'm going to be using heat under the tank. I mean, it's not up yet. Um, I'll be using heat under the tank and a low wattage bulb just to kind of make sure that the temperature is exactly perfect for them. That's the only part that you're not going to see on this video. I have wanted tree frogs for a very long time. About 10 years ago, my husband got dart frogs and he had, I don't remember the fancy names of it now, so forgive me. Um, we had the beautiful blue ones, we had green ones, yellow ones, and we had red ones. The red ones were shy and didn't come out very much. But we built this huge, it was a 120 gallon tank. It had a waterfall system. It was really pretty cool actually. Let's see. I think that's probably gonna be about right. We'll go with that. This is, um, let me grab it real quick. This is Eco Earth Compressed Coconut Fiber Expandable Substrate from ZooMed. And again, there was multiple things that were suggested as very good options. I decided to go with this because I have experience with it and I know it keeps the moisture relatively well to help keep the humidity up without soaking them. The water dish, and you can see it's shallow. Mine are adults, so I don't have to worry as much about them drowning. Apparently tree frogs are really, really poor swimmers. So if yours are smaller when you go to set up your tank, one of the options I read online, which I thought was pretty cool, is some people put the river rock in the water bowl to help make sure that if a little one got into it and couldn't get out, they would be able to just hop up on the rocks and then get their way out. So I thought that was a pretty cool tip. Like I said, mine are bigger, so I don't have to worry about it in this tank. I do have some baby ones that will be coming hopefully in a few weeks or a couple months, and those I will um, have to use something smaller or put the rocks in it. It's going to be fun to try to keep the dirt out of it. Might have to think that through a bit differently, huh? Um, putting multiple species in the one tank that they wouldn't breed. And let me tell you, those things would not stop breeding. We had little frogs coming out our ears. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was fun. And they are not good swimmers either. And one time we had a malfunction. <laughs> we had a malfunction with our sprinkler system. Um, because we had like a misting system in there that would mist. And there was a malfunction. And it actually misted all night long in this 120 gallon tank. And it was a long 120. Like, I mean, it was still pretty tall, but it was a long one. And we woke up. <laughs> And when we walked into the living room, the whole tank was full, except for about that much at the top 
was not. And we panicked and we were so upset because we loved the little frogs. And we were sure they had all drowned and were dead and we were just devastated. And we went and looked and the little cocoa huts that you can buy them and there was like some bark and some little wood chips, all of that floated. So all the little dart frogs went and jumped up on top of those things and floated. And so we joked it was like the great flood in the Bible. It was like the great flood of 2010. And um, really funny is after, you know, we got the water to recede and everything was back to normal. I don't know if the frogs thought it was monsoon season or what, but oh my goodness, they went into high, like overdrive producing eggs. And it was, it was crazy. So my husband finally, we had different age tadpoles in my loft. My loft stays warmer than the rest of the house. So we had just shelves of little uh, dark frog tadpoles of different colors, just at different ages growing up. And it was quite uh, a lot of work to feed them all. But um, we decided to, to break up the pairs in the hopes that they would stop breeding. And uh, so he sold off like the girls of one and the boys of another. And um, then we still got eggs. And it, he made these hybrid eggs, which is very frowned upon. I don't think it's as bad now, but back in the day, that was like really, really bad if you made a hybrid dark frog. So we just gave those to friends and then we decided to get out of the dark frogs. But yeah, they were a lot of fun. But I wanted the tree frogs. He's the one that wanted the dark frogs. And we may get dark frogs again someday. But um, I wanted tree frogs now for probably about 10 years. So this is pretty exciting to me. And I can't wait to show you what these look like because they're not just like normal ones because I can't do anything that's just like normal. Um, so let me finish so we can get them out. And again, my husband has already opened the box. We get everything delivered to his office because I live in the sticks and they will deliver to his office before they will deliver here. They'll deliver here later in the day and they deliver to his office early in the day. I don't even know if I like this thing, but I wanted to see if I liked it just as an option. I wish you guys could like actually be here and you could be helping me decide how to decorate this thing. Eh, we'll see how that looks. So then I got this, this thing help give them something to jump around on. If you guys weren't watching, I would totally be doing a spit test right now to make that suction cup stick. I'm gonna pretend to be a lady while you watch. And that, I don't think they sent me the right size to hold that. Or else I should suck at this. Let's see. Well, this is fun.
I'm going to add a little bit more. Oh my goodness, I just spilled it in my floor. I want to add a little bit of moss to try to help with this nice foresty feel. I am making a huge mess. With tree frogs, you want it to be a little bit taller um, than some other tanks that are shorter because they can jump, and when they jump, they could uh, slam into the top of the tank. And obviously, that would not be good for them. <laughs> All right, so let me rinse off my hands, and we will open the box. These little beauties are from Rainforest Junkies. He has been so great to work with, so I certainly hope to get to buy from him again in the future. Oh, the little cups fell over. Oh my goodness, can you guys see this? I'm trying to get where it doesn't reflect. How cute is that? All right, so this would be a normal red-eyed green tree frog and then the piece de la resistance we have purple red-eyed oh, little dude purple red-eyed tree frogs trying to get it in focus this is a recessive gene so this is a 2.1 trio of the purples and then the green is a female. All right. Oh, and I did want to add that we did fix it to make sure that the misting system in our dark frog tank could not ever flood again. So that did not happen again and we did not lose any frogs from that. Let's see. There you go. Okay. Oh. How cool is that? the other ones put in there. Whoa, this one is a monster. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen anything so beautiful? You got a pretty belly. It's okay, it's okay. And last one. Come on baby, come on.
fun setting up this tank with me. Uh, I'll give it, continue to give updates as I get the live plants in, as we get it decorated a little better, maybe some feeding videos. Uh, and then, of course, as these guys, guys, and then, of course, as these guys grow and hopefully breed, if I can get them very, very happy, I would like to share updates about the tadpoles and how all that goes. So this will be a fun little exciting adventure. No, we're not going to become great frog breeders, but frogs is something we've wanted to do for a while, and specifically, I've wanted the red-eyed tree frogs. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Thank you, guys.